Hello my fellow Earthlings, welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to talk about how to ground chaotic energy. First, let me start by talking about what chaotic energy is and mostly what it feels like. So when your energy feels chaotic, it feels like your mind is being pulled in at least a million different directions and you have no clue where to place your focus. It feels like you have so many different ideas that you wanna put into action, but you have no clue where to begin on any of them, and that leaves you completely paralyzed. Internally, you do not feel at peace. You do not feel aligned. You feel confused, you feel vague, you feel foggy and hazy and like your mind has this curtain over it, this just cloud of fog around it. All of that is happening internally, but externally your world is very chaotic as well. Maybe your relationships don't feel very stable or secure. Maybe your body feels awful because you haven't been able to do good things for it. The goals that you set for yourself are completely untouched, you've made no progress on them, and overall, it just, you feel really bad about yourself. That is how it feels to be in chaotic energy all the time. And in this video, I want to talk about the ways that I've been able to ground myself and step out of that feeling of chaos. Now you might be tempted to think that the opposite of chaos is order, but to me, I think the opposite of chaos is stability. And I don't think that order and stability are necessarily the same thing. When you have stability in your life, you have something within yourself to come back to. You have a sense of no matter what else is going on around me, this thing is constant. This thing is going to stay the same. The idea is to develop that within yourself. And so how do you do that? The first thing that has really helped me to just ground myself and to feel more stable overall is to create and stick to a routine. For those of us who are more free-spirited or who are more, I guess, maybe adaptable, it might be very tempting to resist the idea of a routine because it feels like a trap. It feels like something that is meant to contain you. But I would argue that in creating a routine, you are giving yourself so much more freedom. Because if you think about it, when you have a routine in place, there are some decisions that just become automatic. They are no longer taking up your mental space. And so you have so much more energy to be able to put your decision making in other things. When you don't have to think about what you're gonna wear in the morning, when you don't have to think about when you are going to set aside time to focus on your creative pursuits, when you don't have to think about when you're going to learn that language that you wanna learn, or when you're gonna exercise, or when you're gonna eat. Like, there are so many decisions that we have to make on a daily basis that take up our like mental space. If you were to create a routine for those decisions that are centered around taking care of yourself, not only would you be taking care of yourself, but you would be able to then put your active mind toward things that you simply want and desire. So how do you do that? I recommend, honestly, I recommend getting a planner. I really do. And, and honestly, okay, let me show you, let me show you. This is my planner. This is my baby. I love this thing because it has helped me to ground myself so much. It just helps me because I write down 
everything in here. I write down my goals, I write down my dreams, I write down my vision, I write down strategies to be able to help me to achieve these goals, visions, and sorry, I'm looking at a B right now and it is really close. Better run. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that writing things down helps me quite a bit in, in terms of feeling less chaotic, but more importantly, I write down my daily schedule in there by the hour. I plan everything out. I plan out my journaling and reflection times. I plan out when I'm going to work that day. I plan out the activities and the hobbies that I'm going to do. The bee is back. Bro, mind your business. Mind your business. <laughs> um, I recommend getting a planner. Of course, planners don't work for everyone. I recommend just finding the best way for you to take everything that is in your head and getting it out of your head. It could be leaving yourself voice notes or memos around your apartment or wherever you live. It could be just getting a blank notebook and just writing down everything that you want. It could be you get a whiteboard and put it in your room and draw a picture of everything that you want for yourself and your plan and your ideas about like anything, anything. Anything that helps you formulate a routine. Again, having a routine is so important because when you know what you're going to do at a certain time of the day, it becomes something within you that you can go back to and say, Ooh, at this time, I usually do this thing. It becomes a source of familiarity. And we as human beings, we need that. We need that familiarity. We need that feeling of, oh, I have experienced that before. I know what that feels like. I'm gonna come back to it. Now that's not to say that you will always be able to stick to this schedule. The point is to stick to it as much as you can so that you know that you have a plan. The second thing that has helped me a lot in this area is to do things that inspire peace and stillness. For example, I am outside right now. I love being outside. Being outside helps me to literally be close to the ground, yes, but it also helps me to stay present and stay still and stay in the moment because when I'm outside, there's so much beauty out here. There's so much peace. There's so much peace. There are people just outside breathing, living, experiencing the earth as it is. And that to me feels very grounding. Of course, that's not the case for everyone. Um, you could do things like listen to music or exercise or meditate or journal or anything really as long as first of all you are focused on that thing alone because again this is an exercise in building peace and stillness if your attention is in three different places at once that is chaotic. That is the opposite of what you are trying to do. So focus your attention on that thing. But second, make sure that that thing is bringing you peace in the moment. Sorry, I'm just listening to the leaves in the wind.
And the third thing that has really helped me in terms of grounding my energy is staying away from chaotic people. It really is the case that you are a combination of the people that you spend the most time with. And if the people that you spend the most time with are chaotic people, then you will certainly, without a shadow of a doubt, also be an experience chaos. And in those situations, it is honestly better to just be by yourself than to continue to subject your energy to chaos. So if you are going to be around other people, look for people who inspire you to be peaceful. Look for people who inspire you to be clear and focused and who support and encourage that in you. If you don't have that, then you are already trying to work uphill. You're already fighting an uphill battle. That is hard. Like I said, it is so much better to just be alone than to be around people who inspire chaos. Well, thank you all so much for listening. That is it for this video. If you liked it, if you enjoyed what I had to say, if anything that I said resonated with you, please like, subscribe, and comment. If not, if there was something that you don't agree with, if there's something that you didn't like, also comment. I would love to hear. I'd love to have a discussion about it. My ears and my heart are open to you all. Thank you so much again. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.